Here's the experimental procedure we suggest to approach the greenhouse effect. In this experiment, we use the analogy with a greenhouse to understand this effect. Therefore, a glass is useful to represent the greenhouse. To estimate the temperature, you can use either a thermometer, which gives you precise measurements, or chocolate for a qualitative approach. A dark surface, like a sheet of paper or a plate, captures heat better. If it is sunny and hot outside, this experiment can be conducted outside. If not, we can use a light. We place the black surface under sunlight or an artificial light. We place either the chocolate or the thermometers in two separate places, but at the same distance from the light source. Cover one of the thermometers or chocolate squares with a glass to simulate a greenhouse. The other one serves as a control for the experiment. Now, we wait a few minutes to see how it will evolve in these two conditions. During all this time, we can record this process to get a better analysis of this experiment. During the experiment, we observed that the chocolate melts in both conditions, but the melting is faster under the glass. According to our experiment, we may conclude that the greenhouse effect leads to higher increase in temperature of an object, given the same amount of heat energy. The glass acts like a trap, retaining the heat, whereas when there is no glass above the chocolate, the heat can circulate. Even if the analogy may look accurate, indeed, carbon dioxide is called a greenhouse gas, actually, we mainly observe the effect of containment in this experiment and not the greenhouse effect. There are gases in the atmosphere that play the same role as a glass and are therefore called greenhouse gases. What you have to keep in mind though is that this experiment is only to be used as an analogy. The greenhouse effect occurs when infrared radiation is trapped by gases. <laughs>